Hi, it's Lon. I'm getting prepared for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day services. And I have to tell you, there's just so much excitement here in the church as we ponder the nativity and get ourselves prepared for this week. The musicians are prepping beautiful music. The altar guilds are prepping the altars for Christmas. The uh, people are decorating the churches. Things are looking wonderful and amazing. And uh, there's just so much going on and so much keen anticipation as we finish Advent prep for Christmas Eve. I want to give you real clear instructions as to when our services are and where our services are in the next few days. On Christmas Eve, we start at four o'clock at St. Stephen's, which is off Mount Newton Cross Road, close to West Saanich Road, but uh, towards Sanichton from West Saanich Road a little bit. And St. Mary's at eight o'clock in the evening. Uh, so these are our Christmas mass services. And so four o'clock St. Stephen's, eight o'clock St. Mary's. On Christmas day, it's 10 o'clock at St. Mary's. So whatever service you're able to get to, or if you're able to not get to any of them, just uh, be prayerful and be thinking of it. As we sing carols, as we look at the star, the beautiful lights and all the things that uh, light up Christmas, as we look at trees, as we look at gifts, uh, let us know the main gift, the real reason for the birth of the baby Jesus. And as we embrace the birth of the baby, this incarnation is coming and living in our neighborhood, becoming part of humanity in order for God to then continue to be the divine through Christ and this great signpost to us about what it means to be human, what it means to be loved by a God and with such amazing love and grace. Thank you so much, and we hope to see you on any of the Christmas services. Uh, if for any reason you're not able to attend, may God bless you and give you an amazing Christmas 2023. Thank you, and blessings. draw if I invited you to draw an image of God. You might perhaps be tempted to draw an old man sitting on a throne far away in the sky somewhere. But at Christmas, at Christmas we're confronted with an entirely different picture of God. We're confronted with a God who is not old but very, very young, and a God who is not far away but Emmanuel, God with us born as a baby infant, a brown infant born to poor parents in an occupied territory, a child who was so vulnerable, whose circumstances are so tenuous that no sooner than he is born must he flee with his parents to Egypt as a refugee, a child who grows up to be an adult who eschews power and privilege and possessions, but instead spends his life on the margins with the poor, the blind, and the lame, bringing healing and compassion and comfort, preaching an alternate kingdom where all are welcome, all are fed, all are nourished, all are loved. Our God, we discover at Christmas, is a God who shows up, even when things, and perhaps especially when things, are messy and complicated and violent. This Christmas, this Christmas, there is much we would, might be tempted to look away from, whether it be the unhoused people in our own communities living in tents and in doorways, whether it be the images of children in Gaza and other war-torn countries who are hungry, who are injured, who are dying. But our God is a God who shows up and our God calls us to show up as well. And so this Christmas, the world is messy, the world is complicated and God God is with us. God dares to show up. God dares to be vulnerable. God dares to bring love and compassion and healing to our broken world. And so as we celebrate Christmas, we too are called to incarnate God's love. We too are called to show up. We too are called not to look away, but to as much as we can incarnate the goodness that God brings into the world and that is possible 
if we all humble ourselves and live in peace. Merry Christmas to you all, and may you too incarnate love. Amen.